Happy Monday, everyone. It is clear skies. That means warm, sunny, dry really over the course of the week ahead the warmest towards about the middle of the week some fog developing out towards the coast in the usual areas a little less if you see just barely right there the brookings and harbor area actually seeing some offshore winds and that's th keeping things quite a bit warmer there the checo effect well in effect also known as the brookings effect as we do have some winds out of the north and northeast you can see the flow of the atmosphere right here up to the north and then down to the southwest out of the northeast that's bringing offshore winds for a lot of the area fairly dry, fairly breezy at times and fairly warm for this time of year. Most of the showers precipitation well off to the west of us and that's building up some high pressure over our area that will continue to build up a little breezy, especially for the coast with those winds out of the north and northeast. Low pressure is in the area, but that's mainly going to stay off to the north. And as that breaks apart, high pressure builds in more looking very warm towards the middle of the week, pushing 90 degrees once again for some areas before cooling down a little bit towards the weekend. Let's look at the next 48 hours. Here's your pinpoint forecast. Bit of cloud cover from time to time, if anything, just keeping things interesting. Keep on going and uh, about Tuesday morning, some fog developing in the Umpqua Basin. Not likely to see much shower activity at all for the week ahead. Just not that much moisture in the air. Step out of the way. You can see further east of the Cascades as well. A little breezy in the afternoon. Still sunny, still dry, mild at night, not as cold as we have been. We do have some warmer temperatures during the day, keeping us on the warmer side at night. Head into Wednesday. This is likely the warmest day of the week as high pressure continues to build in. Thermal trough out off the coast, a fancy way of saying temperatures once again in the upper 80s to around 90 degrees for some areas. Wind speeds, I think that will be one of the main things that we notice as we go over the next couple of days. Possible wind speeds as we go over the next 48 hours, especially breezy out towards the coast, especially in the afternoons once again. So this is Tuesday morning. Let's go into the afternoon for your Tuesday, picking things up once again, fairly breezy out towards the coast. Some gusts up to 20, maybe 25 miles per hour, but nothing too unusual for this time of year. Another afternoon. This is Wednesday, very warm. And a lot of these winds a bit more on the onshore side of things. So with winds now out of the northwest, Brookings likely to cool down compared to other areas, especially further inland that are now warming up as we get into the day Wednesday. In terms of the coast tonight, though, mostly clear, breezy tomorrow, mostly sunny. No, not 7,979, probably closer to about 79 degrees for the Brookings area. Just a fun little typo there. Temperatures for Crescent City, a nice typical 65 degrees. For the West Valleys, you can see temperatures mainly in the 80s and yes, 79 degrees as well for Mount Shasta, the actual 79 degrees. No freeze warning, mostly clear tonight. Sunny skies tomorrow and east of the Cascades. It is mostly clear tonight. It is sunny tomorrow. Temperatures overnight in the 20s and 30s. Temperatures tomorrow afternoon back to the 70s. Usually you're about the mid 60s this time of year. So above average temperatures likely to continue over the next seven days. We do have a couple of slight and we're talking very small chances for showers. That will mainly be Saturday and again on Monday of next week, but that's five, six, seven days out. So we'll see how that develops. The warmest day, likely on Wednesday. That'll put you in the 80s for the Klamath Basin. So a chance of a few showers, maybe some pop up thunderstorms in the afternoon as we look at Saturday for the basin. Northern California, sunny skies, slight chance of showers on Saturday, mainly popping up with more rising air in the afternoons. Temperatures in the 80s and 70s and out on the coast, quite a bit warmer for the next couple of days for Brookings and Harbor. Rest of the coast, mainly in the 60s overnight in the 40s.